So we're here in LA shooting a global brand campaign for Audemars Piguet. Most important with the campaign is to build authentic stories. It's a huge tribute to our origins, to Le Brassus, but it shows as well how our craft is living around the world through these truly independent people forging their own paths. When we started the magazine in 2008, everybody said print is dying. People thought we were crazy about starting a new magazine. True independence doesn't mean that it's easier or less work. It's the opposite. It's harder and more work, but it's very rewarding. I want a viewer of my images to feel connection with something authentic, that certain magic. When all the light, the color, the shape, the styling, the location, all those things come together, that's really a special thing when you're making photographs. If you want to find your own voice, you have to follow your guts. You have to be yourself and you have to be authentic about what you believe in and not try to follow anyone. Yeah, I think the great people usually don't set out to be special or unique. They just are. Just doing what you want to be doing and being fearless. And I actually just follow my own nose. It's that simple. I was kind of a wild child. I left home when I was 16, leaving school, moving to New York by myself. I carried on pushing through and continuing to grow. If it's something that feels good, you should probably do it. One of the key ingredients is you want to stay away from uh, regrets. You have to bet big to win big. The old horlogerie and the old couture is very similar because it's all about the savoir-faire. Craftsmanship is so important, and I think even the new generation starts to appreciate the most important pieces, and those are the well-crafted pieces. It's about the precious thing that's going to be forever.